Hi, I'm Lisa McCree with the Skinny for Everyday Health. Okay, kitchen chickens, this one's for you. My super skinny black bean tostadas. These are absolutely the easiest way for you to get your Mexican fix and require so little cooking, I don't even think it could legally be called a recipe. Even though I like to cook, I actually have them two, maybe three times a week. Sometimes they're lunch, sometimes they're dinner, sometimes they're my 10 o'clock feeding. Everybody has one of those, right? Here's all you need, ingredient-wise. You're gonna have some corn tortillas. You wanna make sure you have the ones that are 50 calories each. Some of them can have twice that amount, so read the label before you buy them. We have some black beans. We have some lettuce. I like to use romaine lettuce because it has more nutrients than iceberg lettuce. Some fresh tomatoes. Some 2% cheddar, or you can use vegan cheese if you wanna keep it vegetarian some fat-free sour cream or fat-free yogurt, of course a little salsa, some green onions just for some extra crunch and flavor, and some avocado. We're gonna start though by popping these tortillas in the oven. You're gonna save a lot of calories by oven roasting them rather than buying those fried tortillas. You're simply gonna sprinkle them with a little kosher salt and spray them with a little oil, rub it all together. You don't wanna to use too much oil but you do wanna just give them a nice coating. I already have my oven at 400 degrees, so let's pop them in. Now you're gonna throw them right on the rack. There's absolutely no reason to use a tray, but set your timer at 400 degrees. These things only take about eight minutes. You gotta watch closely or they'll burn. You know, I'm not sure if it's because I grew up in Texas or that I live in California, but I seriously could not live without Mexican food. When I lived in New York City and was pregnant with my son, I literally took an $8 cab ride regularly to buy $3 worth of Mexican takeout. And when I found out that each of those tostadas had 250 calories, and I usually ordered three, it wasn't a real mystery why I weighed 185 pounds before that baby was born. And sadly for me, that baby did not weigh 65 pounds. <laughs> now though, by making these skinny bean tostadas at home, I can have twice the food for about 250 calories. Now it's time to get our beans ready for the microwave. You know, a half cup of beans has just about 100 calories and yet seven grams of protein and lots of tummy filling fiber. And if you have a half a cup of beans a day, you can lower your risk of cancer and heart disease. But if you microwave them, you have to do this. Take a wet paper towel, squeeze out the moisture, and really, really tuck it in, making sure every bit is covered. If you don't do this, you're gonna have a beanie explosion in your microwave that's gonna dry like lava. You just need about two and a half or three minutes, depending on your microwave. You know, a whole avocado has about 300 calories, but we're just gonna use two tablespoons, which is about 50 calories. And the fat in avocado is the good type of fat that can help lower your cholesterol and your blood pressure. And it tastes good too. Mmm. All right, let's check on those tortillas. Ah, they look perfect. A little hot, but nice and crunchy and not fried. Okay, everything's ready, so let's fill these babies. You're going to just stir your beans a little bit to make sure that all the heat is evenly distributed and take your tortillas. We're only going to put about a quarter cup, that's about 50 calories worth, on each of the tostadas. You're gonna love biting into that creamy, delicious beanie goodness. All right, we're gonna put some lettuce on after. You can salt your lettuce a little bit if you like, just to add a little more seasoning. So pretty. I'm gonna add these red and yellow tomatoes as well. Sprinkle those on. And you can put as much of this fresh produce as you think you can possibly eat. I mean, there's sort of no going wrong, however, when you do the cheese, I will give you this instruction. You're gonna use cheese by the spoonful, not by the handful, because a little bit of cheese actually goes a long way. Just about a teaspoon on each of your tostadas. You're gonna get that feeling of having 
The cheese and the cheddar is so good with the lettuce and the beans, but it's just a few calories. You're gonna also add some green onions if you like. I like them, I think they add so much extra texture and crunch. If you want, you can also put a little fat-free sour cream or fat-free yogurt on top. My kids actually love that part of it. And a little bit of fresh salsa. Or if you have a really hot mouth, you can add one of those regional hot sauces. That's what I prefer. Ooh, I almost forgot, my avocado. Again, about a tablespoon per tostada. You'll see, these things are so huge and so loaded, you might end up eating them like a tostada salad, unless you're really good with your hands. All right, that's it. So remember, next time you need a big Mexican fix, make this skinny platter of black bean tostadas for a fraction of the calories, and discover how delicious it can be to slim down while living large. Check out all my skinny recipes on this channel and post a comment. I wanna know what you think.